Alright, here's how you put a second hard drive into a Veo Z. The hard drive will go into the DVD drive, which uh, I'll show you how to remove. To take off the keyboard of the laptop, you need to remove nine screws plus one more, which is in the back of the RAM cover slot. This is because one of the screws you need to remove is from behind here. Well, I just dropped that screw. Where'd it go? Okay, got it. So, here you go. I unscrewed all the screws. Now flip it up and take off the keyboard. It should just come off by itself. Since I've taken it off quite a few times before, it shouldn't be so hard. You just want to kind of gently pry it over around the edge. And actually, I ripped a small part of my Z off here. I'll show you. Accident. Be, be very gentle because uh, it's not the hardest, strongest construction. Alright, All right, so here it comes. Whoop. And just peel off the keyboard. Ah, there we go. So here we go. Bayo keyboard. Here's the bottom in case you haven't seen it. Actually, if you were wondering if you could clean the keyboard by taking this off, um, in fact, it actually seems pretty hard to clean this keyboard. Uh, I was kind of disappointed. So basically, this is the inside of my Veo Z, and this is the part right here I broke, so be careful when you screw with this because this end part right here comes off pretty easily. As long as you kind of press it down afterwards, it's okay, but uh, it's not too bad. So as you can see, basically I have this wire here, and uh, I bent this, I was saying how it's really hard to bend this, and I came up with a way to bend it. I actually taped the wire around the hard drive to hold it down better. And I basically just placed a few simple pieces of Sam Adams beer cardboard in here to hold it down. I just made sure there's a little extra so that when I screwed it down it was uh, extra tight. Basically, this whole thing is incredibly easy to change or mod. As you can see, I can just take the whole thing out and here I have another little piece of cardboard so it doesn't touch these circuits or anything. And there you go. This is uh, basically the entire hard drive. It's just a cheap hard drive that I bought on Newegg and uh, it works great. You can probably copy my bending design. I tried multiple different ways, in fact, to bend this in here, and this is really the only way I was able to fit it in. The hard, the main reason is because the plugs that actually you plug into the hard drive are uh, are really big, and uh, it's kind of hard to finagle it in there. I mean, if you look in the actual DVD drive space, it seems like you could almost fit two hard drives in here, but it's a little more difficult than you may think. Okay, so carefully put it in there. Press it down and uh, just add something on top and you're good to go. And as you can see, my the it barely sticks out the side at all. Oh, no one fell out here, Shit. I guess that makes 11 screws. Um, so yeah, this, this sticks out just a tiny little bit out the edge and uh, if you put the keyboard back on, it's really hard to see. You can actually kind of press it back a little. And most people will not notice this at all, I mean, I'm actually more worried about going to the airport and uh, having them wondering what this is or if this is a bomb in here. And also, one note, when you're putting back the VAOZ keyboard, of the three times I took it apart, the connection between the keyboard, touchpad, and uh, so on was not right, and I had to take the, part, the laptop again and put the keyboard on again. So make sure when you put the keyboard on, you make sure every connection is extra 